launching BricsCAD, you will be able to see this menu here where you can select the different, um, different workspaces. For today, we will be, of course, using the mechanical design application or product. When you click it, the application will launch. And here you are greeted with the start screen of BricsCAD. To ensure that you actually have the BricsCAD mechanical software uh, or product enabled, you can go to your bottom or the bottom of your screen where you can see the current workspace on the status bar. It is now stating mechanical for me. And if I right click it, I can also see that mechanical is enabled. It also shows the different other workspaces depending on your licensing level. Opening any new drawings, you can easily do through this start page. You will also cover that in the trainings later in the session. And I am just going to simply open a new drawing to show you the user interface again. On top of your screen, you will see the ribbon. This is where you will see the different applications or the tools, uh, commands and such that you can access. There are different tabs to uh, group different tool sets such as sketching tools, tools for solid modeling, surface modeling and sheet metal. Just to name a few. You can also see there are sections underneath these tabs such as the draw section or modify section. In the training handout, you will see that some of these things are referred to in the instructions. So when, for example, the handout refers to the sheet metal tab under the modify section, you will know to look here in sheet metal under modify. To use any tools, you will see that you can just click any of these uh, commands. Clicking it will activate the tool. You can also see some tools have a drop down menu indicated by an arrow. If you click it, you can see some more options. Sometimes during the exercise, using this drop down menu will be um, needed, but you will also be uh, instructed to do so. Other ways of activating commands can be to use the command line at the bottom of your screen. As you can see here, you can type in any commands you're familiar with. The handout will also list certain commands that are relevant to the exercise so that if you might not necessarily find the correct command in the ribbon, you can also access it from the command line. I will just create a simple block here and I can show you a third way of accessing tools, which is unique to BricsCAD and it is called the quad. By hovering over a certain entity or model and geometry in BricsCAD, you will be uh, greeted with this square or this rectangle window. This is called the quad and it will suggest the different tools that you can use for a certain action, depending on what you have highlighted or what you are hovering your cursor over. So this will also be referenced throughout the training manual. In your, uh, or during the training, you will also be instructed to use certain panels. On the left side of my screen here, you can see the mechanical browser, which is a panel often used in the mechanical workspace. This is where you will see the solid bodies, uh, inserted components, standard parts, also constraints and parameters and where you can manage those things. We also have the library panel where you can find standard parts. On the right side, you can see the Brixis 24 seven panel, of course. I will log in here so you can see how it looks. 
And here you can see the same folder structure that was in the online uh, web browser version of 24-7. And you can access all the relevant exercises and such through here as well. So for example, in the first exercise, you can download this here, although uh, you will be prompted on how to do that or when to do that in the instructions as well. You also have the properties panel, which you will be using in the training where you can manage different information about your models and what is going on in the model space and so on. To open any new panels, if you do not have any, or if you are referenced to use the, a certain panel and you do not see it on your uh, application, to access any other panels, you can right click on the ribbon if you hover over the panels sub option, you can see all the different panels that are available to you. And you can open any missing panels from here. To navigate your model, you can use the middle mouse button to drag and pan your model around. If you hold shift while doing this, you can rotate your model. You can also use a 3D mouse, of course, if you have that. And you can also use the look from tool, which is in the top right of the model space, where you can orient yourself to, for example, the top, the front, or isometric views of your model. Some things to pay in or pay attention to and keep in mind during the training is your snapping modes. By snapping modes, I mean you can go down on the status bar where you can see your eSnap settings. This is the uh, option called eSnap down here. You can see it is enabled when it is highlighted as such, and it is disabled when it is dark grayed out or it is dark like this. If you right click it, you can see the different snapping options you have available. Sometimes in the training guide, you will be asked to use a certain snapping option, for example, snapping to center. Uh, to know that this is enabled, you can see that it has a square around the circle symbol here, for example. Uh, if I click it now, I will disable it and it should remove this square, as you can see here. Another way to change your snapping modes is that if you activate a command, for example, you can also, uh, before placing a certain thing, a sketch or a part, you can hold shift and right click. Then you can also access your snapping modes and you can choose to snap to the geometric center, for example, of this. And that is what it will suggest next for me. Also, you should pay attention to selection modes. As you can see on the top of my screen, I have the prioritize selection of edges, prioritize selection of faces, and enable boundary detection. If I disable all of these and I hover over my model, it will only recognize it as a 3D solid, as you can see here on the quad. If I enable the prioritizing of uh, selection of edges, and I hover over, it will recognize this edge here on my model, but it will still not recognize any faces or anything like that. So if I enable the faces detection, it will recognize the faces. And the last one is boundary detection, that with, when I enable it, it will detect the boundaries of my sketch. So if I enable it now, you can see it recognizes my sketch as a boundary. So that was a introduction to the mechanical interface.